hello everyone and welcome to python programming tutorials so in this session we'll be looking at how we can make use of for loops and while loops in python so these are very much important tools and we can make use of it to reduce the code density so this is very much useful tools so let us go ahead and see the some examples go into menu programming and genie okay so new file is already opened I'm just going to write some examples on for loops. Okay, before that, I'll be using make use of um, list. So I'm just going to define this. Let's see. It's a numbers 10, 20, 30, and 40. Okay. So list we have already seen in our documentation. So anyone unaware of it must go through th the documentation and read about uh, the list. It's a very important tool and uh, it is similar to arrays. S but in arrays we have fixed and we cannot do write m uh, include more than one data type. Here we can have multiple data types in a single list. So again I'm defining one more list and this is string so Honda city and Hyundai Varna and one more I'll be defining let's say it's Mercedes all right let's have one more list and this time it is a mix of integers and strings okay I'm using um, opening braces and closing braces that is square braces we are am using that is a particular and specific for a list format so now I'm just defining for loop so for loop goes like this we have to use a for keyword and then define one variable suppose we have to print some integer then we will use integer variable let's say count in is a keyword again and then what we want to print we have to look at that is list with the name numbers so now end this with a colon in remember that in any loop or any function in python we have to use some line indentation so this is line spacing we have to maintain throughout the loop in throughout the loop the compiler will assume that this particular set of statements belongs to this loop or any function so we have to maintain that spacing it whether it is four lines four uh, tabs or three tabs or five tabs we have to use it and maintain that same amount of spacing so let's say we want to print count and then i'm going to continue with the same spacing say print elements elements in numbers are then we have to say percentile d because we are going to print integer very integer ver uh, list so and then we have to say percentile count because we are going to print per count integer all right then i'm going to exit this for loop from here on and then i want to print one more say VEH then uh, that is user defined we can use any name here because we can use any variable name here this is variable I want to use it as a string variable and then again I have to s I will say in cars colon just use the line indentation here print directly I want to print 
elements in cards are again I, have to, I will say percentile s because it is a string variable set of string variables in, in the list cars after this I will use percentile VEH okay now again I will use for loop to print elements in IDS so I'll define one random variable IDES and then say in IDS again again say colon give some indentation and say print yep elements in IDS are we will use here percentile R only because we we don't know what variable is variable type it's going to be uh, it can be integer and uh, or string so we am using percentile r and then again say percentile id es okay all right so what we have defined here is i'll just save it before we go further desktop i'll just override this for while loops dot py okay so we have defined some list here and then I'm going to make use of for loop this is what the syntax of for loop is for any integer any variable type we want to use and then in is a keyword numbers is what we want to print about and then we are if we say print count it should give a start iteration okay the iteration lasts and the iteration will continue to execute and until all the elements in the list are finished so it then only it will ex ex exit the loop so these two particular set of statements belong to for loop because it is meeting same line indentation and here it is only one statement we are we want to if we want to execute say print elements in cards are personal s and percentile veh instead of personal s we have we will be printing veh so the veh variable will be keep on updating in each iteration so similarly we will have we have uh, another for loop for ides in id ids and then we uh, we want to say print elements in ids are percentile s or sorry percentile r and then percentile ides so let's go to build and execute okay we have got one syntax error here maybe we just forgot to um, put one double quotes here all right compile okay compiled successfully then go to build and say execute okay it's it has built successfully here so we'll check what we are printing here so the printing statement start here so if when we say for count in numbers count starts from zeroth element to up to the last element so print count count is the value of numbers list so first element is 10 10 is printed here and then we will this statement will be printed along with the value in numbers list elements in numbers are 10 elements in numbers are 20 elements in numbers are 30 so this two set of statements are printed till here this is the result of first for loop and then next for loop we, we have here directly we are printing set of strings elements in cars are so this is the result of first for loop from here on we are seeing the result of second for loop elements in cars are honda city honda Iverna, and mercedes these are the elements the i mean the values of list cars what we have defined here so and then from here on this is the result of fo third for loop which is ids elements in ids are 10 elements in ids are b id 1 and 20 and id 2 similarly 
so this is what the uh, this is all about for loop then we similarly uh, we will just check how we can execute and make use of while loops while loops are similar to for loops that they provide one condition but uh, its syntax is different first we have to define one variable here say i is equal to one and then we have to when we are start start writing the while loop we have to write use make use of while keyword while i is less than eight then end this with colon again he we here we have to use some line spa spacing then then say i is equal to sorry i plus is equal to one it means we are incrementing the value of i and then after that we will we want to print i okay so this is a set of statements we are going to use but okay uh, we will see other things later say print i let's see it will print i until and, and unless i is less than 8 okay let's see so go to build and say execute all right so here we are using for a while loop which is and this is what the result of our while loop we have written 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 2 because we have all we are incrementing before we are printing so the our starting value is 1 and when we say i is equal to i plus 1 it will in increment to 2 and then it will print 2 start from 2 and till 8 and then when it's 8 the, uh, after this it is con c checking the condition that is why it is also been printed so this is about the while loop okay and now we will demonstrating s uh, one more statement in within a while loop we'll check like break and continue all right so it's simple we we are, we are meeting the same line spacing and then just check one condition say if i is equal to equal to 4 then simply it should break here we need not print and execute any further so let's check go to save and say good build and then execute so we haven't given here colon here so in coming session we will be seeing how we can use make use of if statement so for now just let's assume this is what the syntax is if i is equal e equal to 4 opening and closing braces and then we have to end this if statement with colon okay then say ex save and then go to build and say execute again all right so we have to give here a spacing as i told you each loop has its own set of statements and then it has to maintain some line spacing so we we have to give some line spacing here say save and go to build and say execute okay now it's uh, it has ex executed with without any error so this is what the result of while loop we have printed when it is checking the condition in it each in each iteration when i equals 4 this while loop should break and if loop if condition if statement falls within the while loop because we are maintaining maintaining the same line spacing okay let's see if we say break uh, in continue instead of break what is continue does is it won't ex exit the loop while loop but it will exit the current iteration in which this condition is true 
and it will skip this and it will continue so to re to realize that realize this we have to shift we have to shift this particular set of statements here okay it will first check the condition and go further okay so let's see go to build and execute same result 2 3 4 now it has gone into uh, infinite loop okay we will just correct this now instead of incrementing here we will we will increment from here avoid this line okay go to build and say execute now it has printed successfully when we encounter this value of i which is 4 this statement will skip further skip the rest of the statements in the while loop and it, it will go to next iteration so it will skip printing 4 that's what I wanted to demonstrate here 2 3 4 is not printed here 5 6 7 8 so that's what that's what the use of continuous statement here uh, so with this we are able to see that how we can print for and while loop and how we can make use of for and while loop its syntaxes and in different ways how we can print uh, our integers and strings variables in using for loop and we are avoiding a large code size and we are reduc reducing it to two or three lines so, so I hope it is understood you can always try this with your own IDE so let me see if any questions are there you can only post them in the comment box see you in next session